So welcome back to my channel. This is going to be today's look I recorded. I'm taking my yellow corrector from LA Girl Cosmetics and I'm just applying it to my under eye just to correct my dark circles because they are really dark. Now I'm taking my beauty blender and just buffing that into my skin. And now I'm taking the Kat Von D foundation. I got the color 57. Now I know this color is a little bit too orange for me. I know. You don't have to say it in the comments because I know. I'm probably going to return it and get a different color. And yeah. But other than that, I really like this foundation. I feel like it's a little too thick for a brush to blend it in with the brush. So I blend it in with my um, Beauty Blender because I feel like I'll get, I get the best coverage out of it and it blends in a lot better than using a brush with it. So prior to the foundation, I already applied my concealer. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm applying that with just a regular cosmetic sponge because I broke my artist brush sadly. I kind of went too hard in the paint with cleaning it and I broke the handle. It was such a tragedy. I wanted to cry. Otherwise, I've been, I would have been using it for this video, but I broke it. I just have to wait till I get a new one now. And now I'm taking Bahama Mama by The Balm, and I'm going to be using a Morphe M501 brush to apply this to my contour. I like this brush for my contour because it's a little precise and it's nice and small, so you have a lot of um, control over it. I became a big Morphe brush girl, guys. Morphe is like literally my life right now. Their eyeshadows, their blushes, like, I mean brushes, it's life. And now I'm taking Gold Deposit by MAC to add some warmth to my face. And I end up going in with the Too Faced Dark Chocolate um, Bronzer because I feel like it wasn't enough warmth and I'm a bronzer freak. <laughs> so with the Too Faced, I use the Morphe M401 brush which is my favorite brush for bronzing, blush, anything guys. This brush is super, super soft and it's super pretty. I just, I love this brush so much. I, I When I worked the fair, I sold this brush a lot because I love how soft it was and it's amazing. You guys would love this brush. Okay, and I just took um, the same Laura Mercier translucent powder just to clean up my contour a little bit. Just so I can bake y'alls. Now I'm taking my favorite, ah, my favorite Morphe brush. This one is the M164. This is amazing for nose contouring. If you're a makeup artist, you need this brush because it makes the nose contouring so easy. You pretty much just place the contour down where you want it. And then I took um, a blending brush and I just buffed that out into my nose. Like That's how easy it was to contour my nose, guys. This brush has literally saved my life. Like, I have like at least five of them now. I love them. And I think I'm just using um, the Morphe M330 brush to buff that um, nose contour out. See, I told you guys I'm a Morphe freak now. So now I'm taking Spice by Morphe. This color, this is a really pretty transition color. I discovered it as I was working the fair. <laughs> And I'm taking the Morphe M433 brush. See, this is a great dupe for the MAC 217 brush. And it's a lot softer and it's amazing. Morphe, Morphe rolls, guys. Morphe rolls. <laughs> and I'm just buffing that into my crease, um, adding more color. I'm taking this nice pretty brown color from the Morphe 35O palette. And I'm just defining that a little bit more. Then I go in with a darker brown just for more definition. And I'll let you guys watch that because you don't need to hear me talk. Then I'm going in with a clean MAC 224 brush just to buff, um, buff out any of the harsh color I may have, may have created or anything just to give it a nice seamless airbrushed look feel to it. Now I'm going in with that darker brown I was telling you about and I'm just buffing that into my crease. And I'm actually using a Morphe M441 brush for this part. It's the same thing as the M443, um, I mean 433 brush, but it's actually like a 
it's like shaped as a dome and the other one is like flat <laughs> so I'm just cleaning it up again with the M224 brush so now I'm gonna be taking the new pure um, eye polish this is the color caviar and it comes with a little silicone brush but I'm not gonna be using that because I feel like it gets a little messy so I took a Morphe M433 brush and when working with this product make sure you're doing it um, small portions at a time because it kind of gets everywhere it's wet so it's gonna like you have to wait a little bit for it to dry and then you can like buff it out I messed up on my other eye. I put way too much product like you'll I, I don't know if you noticed in the intro video but I messed up it kind of actually blends it out on its own it gives it I don't know if you can see that but it's like it blends black into it like like do you see that gradient effect the black into the orange it kind of did that by itself and I really loved it now I took this small little eyeshadow brush it's the M213 brush it's really small so it gets really it's really precise I used it like more so for like the inner part of my eye because it was kind of hard to get in there with a the bigger brush now I took a Morphe E24 brush and the same color spice pretty much the same colors I used on my eyes and I'm doing it to my under eye and I'm just buffing that color in. Now I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood and the A23 brush, the highlighting brush. I love this brush for highlighting. It's like, it's awesome. It grabs the color really well and it lays it down right where you want it. So now I'm taking Lime Cream Shroom. This is a really, really pretty brown color. I'm not telling you guys to buy it because I know the whole Lime Crime drama and everything. And so I'm not telling you guys to buy it. I got it from Namie's because I seen this girl wear it. And I was like, oh, that color is so pretty. What is it? And she told me. And I've never really seen a color like this. But if you guys have any dupes, let me know. And I'll use that instead of this. I just really bought this because of the color. And it's really, really pretty. It complements the whole entire look. And I'm telling you, you don't have to buy it. I'm sorry that I used it, but I just couldn't resist. This brown is beautiful. It's a really, really pretty color. And that will be the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. I really had so much fun doing it. It was really dramatic and different. And I hope you rock this fall look. Thank you so much for watching.